fear and danger are constant to me. They remind me to pay attention. The places that I work in, they're really hazardous. If you're not afraid of that environment, something is wrong with you. Where most see a remote and unforgiving landscape, Will Gad sees a playground. There's no mountain high enough, no waterfall dangerous enough for this extreme ice climber. Even the mighty Niagara Falls proved no match for Gad. That's him on top of the frozen Cascades, the first person ever to make the climb. Yeah, boys! Gad is a living legend in the climbing world. Now he's using his influence to sound the alarm about climate change. Well, that was exciting. Taking him from the last remaining ice on Africa's highest peak. Some estimates there won't be any ice on top of Kilimanjaro in less than 10 years. To the depths of the melting Arctic. That is a big, big hole. A remarkable journey that all began here in the far freezing reaches of the Canadian Rockies. How long have you been coming to this glacier? You know, I just figured it out. I've been coming here for 45 years that I remember. So I remember being a kid in elementary school and driving out here in the family vehicle and the glacier being like right there. And now it's like way back there. Today, each return visit a warning sign of the effects of climate change. When I see this landscape, something's wrong. There should be a glacier here. Why should anyone care about a melting glacier? Glaciers are the symptom. When glaciers are retreating this quickly, something is changing very, very quickly in our world. Gad's backyard ice, the Athabasca Glacier, has lost more than half its volume and receded nearly a mile in the past 125 years. Yearly markers let visitors know just how much has vanished over time, unassuming monuments with profound implications. When I come back here and I see that the glaciers receded more, it's just a reminder how quickly things are changing. It's an obvious marker. You know, when you, you read the newspaper about climate change, it's, it's kind of abstract. But you come here and it's like, the glacier has moved. After years of watching his ice melt away, Gad felt compelled to put his climbing skills to use. Okay, Martin. By guiding scientists into places once thought inaccessible. Good, Martin, doing great. With Gad leading the way in 2016, scientists were able to explore the inside of the Athabasca Glacier for the first time in history, prompting unexpected discoveries. Did you see the word straight from the wall there? Yes. Biofilm. That's biofilm. I think so, yeah. So when you look at a glacier, nothing, I would personally think nothing lives there, but quite obviously a lot is living in here. Yeah, so only 20 years ago, that's exactly what we believed. It's cold, it's dark, and it's abiotic. Yeah. Now we know we're completely wrong. Yeah, <laughs> well, and there's evidence right there, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. And then totally accidentally, we found like new life forms down there. That's a special thing, you know? I'm, a, I'm an athlete, but to be able to help kind of our collective knowledge move forward a bit is, is really satisfying to me. The United Nations recognized Gad's impact in 2018, naming him a mountain hero. That is a lot of water. Having Will on our project was uh, critically important for us because we were going into a cave with so many unknowns. Jason Gully, a glaciologist at the University of South Florida, recently enlisted Gad's help on an expedition to the Greenland ice sheet. We've got winds that are running around 50 miles an hour. We've got temperatures that are dropping below zero. And we drop into what turned out to be one of the coolest caves I've ever entered. What a powerful place, eh? Like, Dude, just, whoa. Yeah, I've never been into any place like this, ever. <laughs> Me neither. This is next level for sure. Gad took scientists down a plunging glacial cave called a Moolin, giving them unprecedented access. There's a tremendous amount of research going on in Greenland right now trying to understand how the melting of the Greenland ice sheet is going to affect sea level rise because it's the second largest ice sheet on the planet. If the Greenland ice sheet were to melt, it would raise sea levels somewhere between about five to seven meters. And that damage can be costly. A study released just this week warns that the melting Arctic could cost the global economy nearly $70 trillion. Gad's team had hoped to study the frigid waters beneath the ice sheet, but here, science comes with risks. Well, that was exciting. I was afraid. 
there was so much debris and so much power in there that I, it was not a safe place to be. And this research is important, but it's not worth dying for right then and right there. You guys see this crack here? So we've got a bunch of cracks, uh, you know, that are basically in alignment with the block that's overhanging. Really short version, that ice is all messed up and we are not stoked. Uh, what we weren't really prepared for was how unstable the cave was. So looking up above us, that's all starting to break down. And there'd be these big chunks of ice that were previously attached to the ceiling that had fallen onto the floor. That's, that's the end of it right there. The ceiling comes down, the pool goes into it, it's sumped up right there. We couldn't go any further, even if we were crazy enough to come here and dive. And now I think it's an excellent time to leave. I mean, one of the things that we're always concerned about as scientists is, you know, the risk of some of these projects. And having somebody like Will, who's really, really good technically, uh, but also spends a lot of time thinking about risk management, makes our job that much easier as we're doing science. You know, we understand more about how the Greenland ice cap works now as a result of the work that, that Jason and I did together. And uh, I, I love that. You know, an athlete, we're not known for being super smart, but I'm helping some super smart people get in there. <laughs> To get a better sense of what Gad needs to teach the scientists about climbing, we had him put me to the test. This is what's gonna keep me alive. And him. Should we head up? Yeah, let's give let's her. Do it. A private training session in an imposing setting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at this. And that's where we're going. We're climbing up that. First, Gad shows me how it's done scampering up the nearly 100-foot wall like it's nothing. Then, it's my turn. So you saw how I did it. As long as you yep. do it roughly the same, it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> basically. You just, just have decades of experience. There, there is that, yeah. There, on day one. You're going to do great. Here's the big secret. Good. And See. now... Stand up on it. You don't need to kick right away. Good. Kick. That looks more like ice climbing. It's a grueling task. Ledges for your feet. But with some moral support from the man called the best ice climber of his generation. Victory! That was a good stick too. Nice well done. Dude, look at that. Yeah, welcome to the Canadian Rockies, eh? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Would I be able to go on an expedition with you to go do science. You've got the basic ice climbing part. There's about four more levels of this, right. but you've got the basics of it. But even with the basics, Gad says, there should be a sense of urgency. I am optimistic that we can stem the tide in some way, but I think we're gonna have a lot of pretty wild change on our planet in relatively short order. And I wanna teach my kids to expect radical change and to embrace it and move forward quickly. So short term, we're in it it's gonna be difficult. Long term, I think when people pull together, they can do anything. For Nightline, I'm Will Reeve in the Canadian Rockies. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.